Hey, Facebook family, what's up world? I hope that you're having a thrilling Thursday today. And today I wanna to give you something really interesting to think about. So uh, we can call it Thoughtful Thursday. So let me know, are you joining me live? Pop an L in the comments. If you're catching the replay, pop an R for replay and let me know where are you watching from. Alrighty, so I have something so exciting to share with you. Now, this is something that has made a profound difference to our life and our business for years and years and years. So our very, very first business coach, a huge shout out to the amazing Real Bergen. Hey, Real B. Um, she had us read a book and uh, we actually did a 12 month business coaching program with her back in 2004. Hey Nick, how are you? A boo, hello superstar, hope you're feeling better. And um, we used to read a book every single month. We had a book of the month and we'd catch up with her once a month. And one of the books that we were um, suggested to read is Good to Great. And I'm, I've got to be honest, when I started reading this book, it was really, really heavy. It's a study of thousands of companies in the US and what they wanted to know is what was it that made a company great instead of just being good. And oh my God, it's crazy. The research that they went to, the length that they went to find the key success principles. So first and foremost, my question to you is, have you settled for average? Are you okay with being good? Or do you want to be great? Do you want to be extraordinary? You know, do you want to achieve all of your dreams and goals? So this has been an incredible book um, for anyone who is in business, wants to be in business, or even someone who is considering joining a network marketing company, or if you're in a network marketing company. This is a really, really important book for you too. So the two key principles that I wanna share with you today. So I've marked my book. Do you guys write in books? Like when you read books, do you write all over them? So you can see here in the intro, it says why some companies make the leap and why others don't. So the first thing that um, I wanted to share with you, the first principle, is what we like to call the bus analogy. And basically what the book talks about is the first thing you need to do is get the right people on the bus and get the wrong people off the bus. So that's the first thing. So I want you to think about your business right now, whether you have a traditional business, you're a coach, or you know, you're self-employed, you might be solo, or maybe you have a network marketing company. Who is in your team? Who are your advisors? Who is your key circle of influence that you talk to about your business? Because that is really, really important that you are listening to the right people. You are listening to the people who already have success or have the results that you want and the right people who are on the same journey as you. So for example, I'm just gonna take network marketing. Now, I used to hate network marketing with a passion. Now, a lot of that was my ego. A lot of it was that I didn't understand the network marketing industry, but that was my belief system that it was a pyramid, it was a scam, it was one of those things. Um, I'd been pitched Amway 5,000 times and I just didn't wanna be one of those people. But isn't it interesting when situations change and um, you know when we lost our traditional business after working our ass off doing everything right and overnight we lost that business, we had no income, all of a sudden I found this new amazing industry which was network marketing. But if you were looking to start a network marketing business and you'd have spoken to me 10 years ago, I wouldn't have been the right person to listen to. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that you're listening to the right people who are on the same journey and who are gonna give you the right information and they're not gonna stop you. They're not gonna steal your dreams, okay? So that's the first thing. Get the right people on the bus and get the wrong people off the bus. So when we started down this journey and I had been you know, the head coach at the National College of Business, we'd coached thousands of business owners. We had our own traditional businesses. We'd had video stores, we'd had gyms, we franchised, we grew to 13 clubs. So 
everybody saw me as a traditional business owner. So then all of a sudden when I'm off, you know, looking to do a network marketing business, most people thought I'd lost the plot, I'd gone crazy. And, you know, I had to eliminate those people, not from my life, but at least I had to get them out of the way, exit them off my bus so that my bus could continue driving forward, right? So it's the same with you. If you're starting a new venture, if you're starting a new business, it's really important that you surround yourself with the right people and get the wrong people off the bus. Now, if you have an existing business or if you're a network marketing leader and you have an existing team, there may be some people that you need to exit off the bus. There will be those poison people, you know, one bad apple spoils the barrel. You will have some bad apples. You need to get rid of those or they are also going to impact everybody else. So that's the first thing. So I just love that analogy, you know, <laughs> get the right people on the bus, the wrong people off the bus. Now, there are so many goodies in this book. But the second key principle, the second key success principle, and this is probably the one principle that has made the biggest difference to me in my life and my business and, and to Paul, like when we get presented, like we get pitched and contacted all the time, like, you know, five, 10 times a day. Even yesterday, I had someone reach out and ask me to do the water filter thing. Now, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to bag it. I know it's a great product. It's probably a great company and there's plenty of people who are having success. But let's apply that to this model in just a second and see how it comes out. So what happens is by applying this model, by having this simple system, it allows you to take out the emotion and actually make the right choices for you based on your values, based on what you love, based on what is the right thing for you to do at the time. So the next thing that I want to share with you is a principle called the hedgehog principle. Now, do you guys write in books? <laughs> This is my book. I, I uh, look at my books like a bit of a textbook. I love to write notes and highlight and, you know, pop things all over them. So this is, in fact, page 96 of Good to Great. You can see I've colored it in. I've written all over it. And look at this gorgeous bookmark. My gorgeous boy made me this bookmark. Thank you, Zachy. Isn't he just adorable? Love him to pieces. Alrighty. So you can see there, there are three inter... Um, connected circles. So basically what it talks about is for a company or for you to be really great, not just good, but great and super successful, you need to apply what they call the hedgehog principle. So there's three interlocking circles that you can see right there. So the first one is it needs to be something that you absolutely love. It needs to be something that you are absolutely passionate about. Hey Brent, how are you superstar? Speaking of passionate, that guy in Hawaii is passion on a stick right there. So let me ask you, is what you are doing right now something that you are absolutely passionate about? You are so excited, you can't sleep because you just love it so much. You wake up in the morning, you are bouncing out of bed, you can't wait to attack the day because you are 100% in alignment doing what you love and what you're passionate about. So of course for me, I love to travel, like travel, fun and adventure is one of our top values. We love to have fun. The second thing for me is family. I want to be able to do things with my family. I'm now a full-time mum. I homeschool my kids. So I need a business or opportunity that's going to allow me to work around my family, not the other way around. The other thing for me is I want freedom. I'm the laptop lifestyle queen, right? So whatever I do has to be leveraged so that I can you know, be based anywhere in the world and my business can work around me. And the other thing that's really important to me is helping other people. I love that feeling of fulfillment when you know you've helped and made a difference to somebody else. So that's the first thing. So what do you love? What, do you, what are you absolutely passionate about? So then if someone brings an opportunity to you, and look, no offense to all the people out there doing water filters, but I'm not passionate about water filters. And, you know, there's other products out there like cleaning products. Like if you love cleaning products, great. I'm not, I don't even clean. 
We've always had a cleaner. So why would I suddenly have a cleaning business if I don't even clean? That would be weird, right? So that's the first and foremost is pick something you absolutely love, something that you are absolutely passionate about, something that lights you up, that you are so freaking excited about sharing with other people. So that's number one. Second circle is what are you great at? You need to do something that you can hand on heart say you are the best in the world. Now, here's the thing. If you are not the best at what you do, you are always going to be competing on price. And you know what I absolutely love about our online travel business is we have won all the awards. We are the number one online booking engine on the planet. We are the number one leading travel club in the world. So what about you? What about your business? And again, whether you're a, a traditional business, a coach, or you're in a network marketing company, you need to be the best at what you do. And if you're not the best, you need to work out and figure out how to be the best. And hey, we can all learn, we can all grow. I mean, I even look at myself and I so apologize if you were one of the first people that uh, knew me when I first started in my network marketing business three and a half years ago, because every master was once a disaster, right? Like we are all sucky when we start. It's like, you know, if you're an apprentice, like if you're an electrician, you have to serve your time, right? You need to do your apprentice, your apprenticeship first before you become qualified. And it's the same in any business. So, you know, <laughs> I think back now to when I first started in this industry and I was spamming people. My wall probably looked like a online travel brochure. And, um, you know, I was just, I was so excited. I wanted to share it because my number one was a tick, but um, I definitely wasn't the best at network marketing when I started. So I do apologize for that. I have learnt lots of lessons along the way. <laughs> so if you saw this with me three and a half years ago, we need to reconnect. So that is my question. Are you the best at what you do? And if not, what have you got to do to be the best? What have you got to improve on so that you can hand on heart say, I am the best. And if you don't think you're the best, get out of that business and do something else. Because if you don't think you're the best, other people aren't going to think you're the best. So therefore, they're not going to do business with you. Radio. So that's the second thing. So what can you be the best in the world at? What are you really great at? And then the third part to the hedgehog principle, dun, 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 is it needs to be profitable. You need to be able to make money. What drives your financial engine? So if you can't make good money, it's not sustainable. Now, some people get all funny when we talk about business and money. Oh, you know, but I don't want to take money off people. Well, I'm sorry, money makes the world go round. And the number one primary reason why you're in business is to make money, right? Now, if you're in a job, would you continue going to that job if you didn't get paid? Of course not. And if if you're in a job and you know the company you work for, if they didn't make money, if they weren't profitable, would you keep your job? No, of course not. So for a business to be sustainable, it needs to be profitable. So you need to have that economic profitable engine that's gonna drive your vehicle. So if what you're doing right now is not making you money, then you need to have a look at it. You need to see why are you not making money and how can you make money? Or if you're in a busted vehicle, just get rid of it and go get a new vehicle because literally a business is a vehicle to pay you money to give you wealth and the lifestyle that you want. And that's it, right? And you know, maybe, well, hopefully it's something you absolutely love. So that is the hedgehog principle. Now I'm gonna take this a step further and I love this because now I'm gonna tell you what happens if you have two of those elements, but not the third one. So if you are doing something you absolutely love and you can make money out of it, but you're not the best, then it's just a dream. Now, let me give you an example. Let's just say you absolutely love golf. And I'm sharing this analogy because of course, Paulie, my amazingly gorgeous husband is a golf pro, right? So if you are amazing, sorry, if you love golf and you know you can get paid in golf, like Tiger Woods is earning a shit ton of money, right? So there's definitely money to be made in golf. 
and if you love golf, but if you suck at it, if you're not good enough to become a pro, then it's just a dream because it's not sustainable. You're never going to make money. It's literally a hobby. It's not something that you can sustainably have as a business that, um, that ticks all those boxes. And hey, that doesn't mean you can't become great. It just means you have to practice more, play more, study more, get a coach, you know, so that you can become the best. All right, so what about if it's profitable and you can make money and you're the best at it, but it's not something you love and it's not something that you're passionate about? So then, yes, you're going to make money. You might be rich, but you're going to be bored. You're not going to be absolutely fulfilled. And ironically, just a really super quick story, our founder, our chief visionary officer, Mr. Wayne Nugent, he kept hitting like seven figure incomes. He'd hit the top of his company. He'd be really successful. And then it's like he'd go off in self-sabotage and then they'd hit, you know, the bottom again. And his wife said to him one day, what the heck are you doing? You are amazing. Like you get into a new company, you, you know, break records, you hit the top rank, you're earning seven figure income. And then it's like, you just get bored and you stop. Like, why are you doing this? I'm sick of this, you know, this yo-yo, this roller coaster. So let me ask you, what is it that if you got paid to do that you absolutely love that you would never get bored of? Now, the answer to this question, our chief visionary officer said, well, if I could make a million dollars a year, have fun hanging out with my mates and traveling the world and making life an adventure, that's something I would never get bored of. And ironically, that is how our company was born from that one question and that one idea has now sparked this incredible billion dollar company that's the best in the world in travel and we're right up there in the top 100 in the network marketing space as well. So how's that? How's, how cool is that? So the next one is what about if it's something that you love and you are the best at it? but it doesn't have a profitable you know, financial engine. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna be really happy because you're doing what you love and you're really good at it, but you're gonna be broke, you're gonna be poor. And obviously that's not a good thing. So you need to have all three elements of the hedgehog principle. It needs to be something that you love and you're passionate about, something that you're great at, that you can be the best in the world, and it needs to be something that you can make money, a profitable, sustainable business model. So. I hope that that's helped you. And um, if you are looking to start a business, obviously you want to find a mentor that you know has results, someone who you resonate with, someone who you know you could do business with, and someone who you know is going to support you and help you get from where you are now in that you know frustration state. So maybe you're frustrated in your job. Maybe you're feeling like a failure because you know you've been working at something for a while and you're just not getting ahead, or you know maybe you just over what you're doing and you're looking for a change or maybe you're sick of you know you are making money and you are successful but you have no time and you want to be able to have fun with your family and you know for us we we haven't made a million dollars in the last three years you know we made way more money so far when we're in the fitness industry but and i don't know if you've read the book uh the four hour work week what we have achieved with this business, and look, we're only at the very beginning. I mean, most people will tell you it takes five years to hit that seven figure um, level in any network marketing company. But what we have found is we might not be earning a million dollars, but we are living a millionaire lifestyle. And that's what it's all about. You know, we now have freedom. We get to have fun with our family. And the really cool part is we have had 27 amazing holidays in the last three years. And here's the thing. If you just chase the money, you will get bored. If you chase what you're absolutely passionate about, you grow into being the absolute best in the world and the financial model, the money will follow. And uh, you know how the saying goes, right? The more people you help, the more value you add, then 
the more money that will flow your way. So guys, I hope that's added value for you today. Highly recommend Good to Great. It is a heavy book to get into, um, but definitely worth it if you are serious about being great in your business. Highly, highly recommend it. And uh, just speaking of booklets, <laughs> got my little lineup here. So I've almost finished this one for the second time, The Magic of Thinking Big. This is the next one on my list, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Beep. And uh, then I'm going back to the power of now. So what's on your book list? Remember, whatever you put in, if you want to be successful, success leaves clues and uh, leaders are readers. So would love your feedback. Let me know in the comments, what did you learn today? What was that aha moment? What are you now going to do differently? And hey, if you love to have fun, if you are passionate about travel and you would like to know more about what we're doing, we are running some information sessions tonight, tomorrow night and Saturday morning, or I can just shoot you through a really short four minute video. So guys, it's been an absolute honor and a pleasure to spend some time with you today. I hope that's got you thinking, maybe it's uh, given you an aha moment or shifted your mindset. And guys, life is all about living you are only here for such a short time on this planet and time is ticking. So be great. Make sure that you kick ass in business, kick ass in life, live a life you absolutely love and live life now. I'll see you on the next live. Bye.